excited to be here, not thrilled with getting here. I have to be honest, I fly enough that I feel I have the right to say this. If you work for an airline, I hate you. Okay, I hate you. And I don't wanna hear, no, my cousin Sheila's a real sweetheart. She works for Southwest. F your cousin Sheila. <laughs> All right, your cousin Sheila's a damn bitch, and I'll tell you something else. The only reason people work for airlines is because the Nazi party is no longer hiring. <laughs> I don't have an issue, thank you. I don't have an issue with flying. My issue is with the boarding of the plane. Has anyone else here ever had the misfortune of being stuck in boarding zone four? <laughs> like that's when you have a seat, you have a ticket because you're holding it, but you're so low on the food chain, it pretty much goes like first class, luggage, terrorist, maybe you. <laughs> and they take such painstaking care to board zones one through three. And if you don't fly that airline often enough, you are SOL in terms of getting on that plane because they are boarding groups of people that you didn't even know you could apply to be part of. <laughs> We're gonna start boarding flight 556 at Dallas-Fort Worth. We're gonna start boarding zone one. These are our first class passengers, our first members, our gold members, our golden shower members. <laughs> our golden eagle members, our eagle face members. If you have an eagle face instead of a person face because you lost your face in some sort of horrible holiday turkey deep fry accident, you didn't have enough butt fat to get a nose grafted onto your face, so you had to borrow one from an eagle, so now you have a beak and you like to eat mice, you can get on the plane. Boarding zone two. These are our silver members, our silver star members, our silver surfer members. Anybody likes comic books, you're a nerd. You can sit in the back of the plane. Silver hair, if you're old, hurry the up. Silver spoons, if you like Ricky Schroeder, 80s TV shows, you were born only well, then you can get on the plane. Silver bullet summer, no ma'am, you cannot bring your cores light up in this bitch. Boarding zone three. <laughs> These are our... <laughs> These are our copper members, our copper star members, our copper topper members. Anybody using a Duracell operating device? I don't give a shit if it's a pacemaker. You turn that off for takeoff. Copperhead, if you have a copperhead snake as a pet, instead of a normal damn pet like a dog or a cat, you're like, it, I'm gonna get me a snake. Yeah, you dad, I'm not going to law school. I'm gonna go to art school online and learn how to draw dragons and manage a hot topic in my spare time. I love my snake. I'm bringing her to Thanksgiving. Her name is Judy, wearing snake love. I love her so much, don't touch me, mom. You can get on the plane and boarding's on four. You can go yourself. <laughs> boarding all zones. <laughs> I spend a lot of time traveling, spend a lot of time in hotels, and as a result of it, I watch a lot of TV. And I think the saddest commercial out there has to be the SPCA Sarah McLaughlin <laughs> ad. Seen it? With the up animals? Can I tell you a secret about this commercial? It knows when you're alone. 